Also, the, the first thing that I actually taught them was to keep a legend, you know, because mm -hmm. the ultimate goal for the whole family is to uh, utilize the all created trust as our bank and use, use it for everything. What exactly pushed you over the edge to be like, oh yeah, let's, let me work with the fanpreneurs? The fact that you guys are personal. You know, everybody actually has a Facebook, everybody has an Instagram, everybody actually is doing a form, you know, but no one is willing to do the field touch familypreneur mm. aspect to where they're mm. like hey here's my phone number just don't abuse it this is dietrich daniel he is part of our fanpreneur program uh pretty much my man i, I what i want you to do is just kind of like explain what you do um in a nutshell and uh you know kind of get an understanding of where you were at before compared to where you're at now especially since before the program okay so what i do in a nutshell is I, long story short, I actually uh, help people that are looking for someone to uh, develop a website, a logo on Craigslist. I actually have things set up on Craigslist where I have people that come to me, they pay me, and then I go to Fiverr and get it for the low and basically just keep the rest of the profits and let Pfeiffer do all the work. So basically, I don't do any of the technical piece. I'm just the middleman. So that's what I do in a, uh, in a nutshell. That's nice. Um, and um, other than that, you know, I actually am in the family of three beautiful daughters and a beautiful wife. So household of women looking for a a hamster <laughs> or a gerbil. It was, it was right. A test <laughs> Just a little, yeah, you know, need a little bit of balance, absolutely. you know, nothing absolutely. crazy. Absolutely, absolutely. I like uh, it. Yeah, that, that's what I was doing before, man. I mean, you know, but I, I knew I needed the structure. I know I needed the foundation. I needed to protect my family's assets. Mm -hmm. And uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving came around, and I was actually doing my research, saw the ad and the promo that you guys had, and really was impressed. And I did not hesitate. I saw that you guys offered, you know, uh, credit repair. Mm -hmm. And also, in addition to that, three different trucks. Yep. And, and, you know, that's one thing that I had not seen, you know, where it had the family trust, the ministry trust. Well, let me put it in, put it in let's make them set up the balance. So it was the ministry, the mm -hmm. business, and the family. That's yep. how you guys actually set everything up. Yep. And I jumped on it immediately. And, um, you know, you guys split the payment. And I was like, okay, you know, uh, my bank only allowed me to split it. So I actually said, okay, let me actually just pay the first half uh, right now, which is like eight o'clock. And then when midnight came, I went ahead and actually paid the other. And uh, you guys got so scared. Your mom actually called me personally, like, hey, I'm about to refund you this. You know how it works. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I'm like, no, nah, keep that. I ain't getting time for y'all to be calling me talking about I need the other installment. Go ahead and get it all right now. It's right. Holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> right that was a good holiday season for sure that was definitely a good holiday yeah. holiday season so like tell me tell, tell us what what are some of the things that you implemented that kind of got the ball rolling i know you mentioned that you you got the protection and the trust but like like what what exactly exact what exactly like if you could be in detail like what did what did you get that that uh you implemented uh, can you elaborate when you say implement are you saying after setting up the trust or yep. like going step by step of how i set it up yep yep so basically i actually uh in the program, we actually had a community that came together. We sat down as a family and we went through, read through the contract, the trust itself to identify exactly what we will be responsible for as far as who the grantor is and mm -hmm. who the uh, trustee is, who the beneficiary is. And then we went from that point to understand uh, the responsibilities of the three. Mm -hmm. um, after that, you know, we actually broke it down into, okay, you know, what assets do you have? And, um, and you know, from that, it was all about, okay, what benefits do you get from the three different trusts that you have? Right. And understanding exactly how to utilize those three. That's good. That's good. What I really love is that you sat down with your family, right? Because most people don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Most people try to figure it out themselves, not knowing that it's a family trust. It's a it's a family endeavor, right? So like these things, mm -hmm. you need you actually need to have a conversation with them about. Um, have you started implementing like a weekly meeting with your family? 
Yes, yes. We also, the, the first thing that I actually taught them was to keep a ledger, you know, because mm-hmm. the ultimate goal for the whole family is to uh, utilize the creative trust as our bank, use, use it for everything. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, I, I've done a lot of research as far as the sec.gov. Yep. And understand how to uh, um, utilize the trust and, and utilize the trust that we all received when we were born as well, mm. and do and you know and utilize express trust as well. Yeah. Um, to where you know we can actually start working on discharging debt and understanding how to protect yourself and basically just live free. So you know, yes, we talk all the time because you know that puts us in that green area we're novice so you know i want us to be very familiar as a family of how to maneuver the way we should be maneuvering as as people as the people i like it i like it and i know you mentioned like some of the results that you had is that you were able to uh get all of your trust together and kind of put your family like what would you what would you tell somebody that's kind of sitting on the fence right now that's like yo i, I want to get this done but like uh, something stopped me like what would you say to them i say um uh, don't get out of your way get out of your own way Take all emotions out of the way. If you already have pulled the trigger to invest in yourself, then get engaged, commit to yourself, and write down the simple goals. And I shouldn't say simple, but to me, when I when I mean simple, it's more of what is it that you want to get accomplished. And I ain't talking about I want to buy all these businesses. I want to actually leave a legacy. It's more of you know I want to understand what I just purchased. Mm. And I want to know the benefits that I actually will have in my safe after it has been taken care of and actually written up correctly. And ha- and then from that, you can actually start setting up bullet points like, OK, I actually have a bank account. OK, now I actually have my credit straight. OK, now I can actually go as far as I want to go from that point. But yeah, mm. just start off simple by actually, you know, understanding what it is you're a part of. And also the community, fanpreneurs, understand what they're willing to offer you. How they can support you. I like it. I like it. So let me ask you this: What really pushed you over to the edge? Because I know you mentioned that you had, um, you excuse me, you saw us through a program. You kind of, but like, of course, you you had to do a bit of research. You see what I'm saying? You, you, it wasn't just like a boom. Let me just give them their money. You had to make sure that we were legit. So like, what exactly pushed you over the edge to be like, oh yeah, let's let me work with the, the fact that you guys are personal. You know, everybody actually has a Facebook. Everybody has an Instagram. Everybody actually is doing a poll. You know, but no one is willing to do the field touch, mm. family penure aspect. The where mm. they're like, "Hey, here's my phone number. Just don't abuse it." You know, <laughs> don't actually text me. In it. <laughs> That's funny. And you know, and I'm gonna hold you accountable. You know, and you know, hey, you say you're gonna do this, and I, I'm not gonna just take your money and disappear and ghost you. And that's one thing that you guys actually. Um, made sure that we knew that you guys care more than we knew that you guys knew. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you guys were up front. Hey, look, we're dealing with people. Some people that we actually invested in ourselves, you know, they, they're they flopped. But, you know, that's people. Right. And, I mean, the fact that y'all actually told us the truth, actually, you know, it, it put me at ease. And that wasn't in the marketing aspect. The marketing aspect was, hey, we actually the formatting the trust. And I'm like, hey, I could do all the research under the sun. Mm-hmm. By just hitting up Google, Bing, Yahoo, or what have you, but what is true, what is facts? I gotta go on faith at some time. You know what I mean? No, that's true. That's and, very true. Uh, I like that. You know, when I actually just uh, saw how, how everything was professional, how you guys had everything laid out, and honestly, it's funny. You know, uh, right before Thanksgiving, you had your birthday, and I actually had invested in myself on your birthday when you had gave the promo of that, as far as the three day I think challenge. Yeah, yeah, Excuse yeah. Me. Yeah, you went live in your car, and I was one of them on the live. I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and jump on this. It makes sense, you know? And that's the thing about me. You know, help me understand. Make it make sense. If it makes sense, I, I don't have to ask any more questions. From that point, if you jump on live and I have the opportunity to do a Q&A, mm-hmm. I'm going to have my questions already written up to where I can actually ask on the spot. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, I'm glad I'm glad that live. I'm Look, that, <laughs> that birthday live. There's a lot of things. I felt like that. I feel like you, you and another person said the same thing. You came from another live. I was just like, man, it just goes to show what impact can do. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's 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 Absolutely. that's so true. So, man, Dietrich, I appreciate you for hopping on here, man, sharing your thoughts about your about the program and what really pushed you over the edge. And I hope that everyone else here um, found this helpful. 
because Dietrich got all his trust done. Okay, that man. When I tell you, he didn't waste no time. <laughs> I think it was how long did it take you to set up your trust? Oh man, look, you know, after we had the uh, first uh, recording with the trust uh, professional, I'm gonna call him. Mm -hmm. After that five day program, I was done. Because what I did was the first day, I just sat back, observed, took notes. And then the second day, out of that five day, I started doing my trust because I was able to have the recording that she actually gave mm -hmm. us from the first day. So by the time we got the fifth day, it was all about just finishing up, buttoning up some stuff, and then, you know, waiting for you guys to tell me what to do next. I didn't, I wasn't wasting no time, man. Plus, with all these rules and regulations out here, I was like, I don't know what to expect. So let me go ahead and get my done. Then I could just sit back and ask any questions that I may have to actually clean up what I've been messed up. Yeah, so you so so you so you're telling people that you can pretty much get your trust done in under thirty days. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, oh yeah, oh yeah, thirty days if you buckle down and you focus and you just go ahead and actually do what is asked of you. Because I mean, the fact for newest have it already set up one, two, three. All you got to do is just actually listen, take your notes, and execute. That's the key, you know. Mm. And I mean, you you just actually put some sweat equity into it, have some sleepless nights because yeah, them trust along, and you want to read everything in the trust. Don't be signing all this stuff because you don't know what you sign. That's true, man. So, that's yeah, true. Yeah, to answer, yeah, to answer your question, take your time, buckle down, treat it as if it's your last days, and go ahead and actually set it up for not you but your family. Okay, now I'm talking about your great 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 uh, grandkids. You're never gonna see. <laughs> that's know? true, man. So. What, man? That's 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 super deep. So, man, appreciate you hopping on, giving the testimonial for the people. We definitely want to make sure that people understand that this is, it's simple, but it's it, but it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? It's simple but not easy. But it just like you said, it takes a bit of sweat equity, and everybody got that. You see what I'm saying? So. Dietrich, appreciate you for hopping on, my man. Thank you so much for uh, coming through. I know you're busy. You know what I'm saying? You out here whipping it out there in the streets. So I appreciate you for coming through, my man. And um, everyone on here, make sure y'all tap in. All right, y'all know that this isn't this isn't for the for the people that are curious. We're talking to the people who are serious.